Hails and Orange, everybody. Welcome back to the Abyss. I'm at Zagala. Got a little collection update for you. A few items I picked up from Season of Mist recently. Uh, first, I will say I apologize for the lighting. I'm using my big gaming light because, of course, all the fucking stores are closed. I can't go buy the wire bracket I need for fixing my new light fixture I just put up. But other than that, stick around if you want to check some shit out. Let's see what we got. All right, first up, when I put this order in, it was mainly for one item, and I kind of browsed around to see what was on sale. This one I found for two bucks, and in my opinion, it's a classic. Um, yeah, we'll get right into it. Necronomicon, this is the Canadian one, not one of the other million Necronomicon bands, and Rise of the Elder Ones. I love that Lord of the Ringsy, Saurani scenery there. Again, my lights are insane, so this is probably gonna come out really fuzzy and hard to see, so I do apologize. Yeah, Rise of the Elder Ones. This one came out in 2013. Uh, Necronomicon. If you look on like the Metal Archives or something, it's just going to say Death Metal. But uh, in my opinion, it's very much black and death metal <laughs> with some uh, minor, you know, melodic parts here and there. Um, some orchestra, stuff like that. But it's not overdone like, you know, Behemoth, Demon War Gear type of black and death metal. But, uh, or orchestral, death metal, melodic, whatever the fuck you want to call Demon War Gear. Um, really solid album. Um, like I said, just enough orchestral to keep it interesting, but not overdone. Just solid record, man. For two bucks, I could not pass that up. So definitely go check out Necronomicon. They've been around since like the late 80s, so they definitely got some cool shit to, to take a look at. But, uh, you know, let's keep this thing rolling, guys. All right, this next one is a 2010 release, and it is a Season of Mist record. Um, blind by. I never heard of these guys, and I definitely am happy to have picked this one up. Again, I got this one on sale. Kind of crazy, like, attached baby artwork there. This is Otargos, I think is how you say that. These guys are from Bordeaux, France. And the album is No God, No Satan. This was released in 2010. And it's just straight up pulverizing black metal. Just thundering drums. Really, really dissonant guitars. And I would say, you know, Dark Funeral-esque vocals. A little bit on the higher side, but not like he's shrieking or anything like that. Really solid all the way around. This was definitely a good buy. Uh, they've got like six or seven other full lengths. I'm going to start plucking away at these. Again, that's Articos, No God, No Satan. If you like bands like Dark Funeral, things like that, definitely, definitely check this band out if you have not. But let's go ahead and set that one aside. Keep this thing rolling and see what else we got for you. All right, this next one is a 2018 release off Season of Mist. And again, I had heard the name, but I never really got into the band or checked them out. So this was the first introduction to them. And I was pretty well blown away. This is Nocturnal Graves with Titan. Kind of a messy, gory cover there. I love that simplistic color pattern with uh, actually a lot of detail in the art with such a limited color palette. Love that kind of Egyptian-y, Necronomicon-y type of uh, artwork there. Uh, these guys are from Australia, like I said, Melbourne. Um, I don't think there's anything back behind here. Oh, just a track listing logo. Um, Kind of a jack-of-all-trades type of band. Um, I'm going to read this little thing. Sometimes they have the little stickers that come with it. Nocturnal Graves unleash hell once more with a new album, Titan, a brutish take on razor wire satanic death metal. Recommended if you like Watain, Sodom, and Goat Whore. And Goat Whore is the one I would hone in on because this is that kind of just all-around jack-of-all-trades mix. It's a blackened death thrash. I mean, this thing's all over the place. So I, Maybe not so much the Sodom, but if you took Goat Whore and Watain and kind of smushed them together, that's kind of what this sounds like to me. So really riffy, heavy, brutally fast. The Razor Wire Satanic Death Metal, like it said, mixed with black metal. So really solid stuff. Definitely uh, we'll link these guys up in the description below. Check them out for yourself. But let's uh, keep going. I got a couple more things here to show and uh, we'll call this a day. All right, so another French band here. Um, this is one I'm familiar with, and I've been slowly trying to pluck away at their discography. Found this one on there for sale. I think it was three or four bucks, so I could not pass this one up either. And this is Omegaphilia by Merrimack. Love that artwork. Logo is nuts too, man. Uh, again, from France, uh, I believe from Paris, actually. Um, just straight up fucking black metal, man. It's non-compromising. It is brutal. Just aggressive, fucking blasphemous brutality, as it says on the sticker. And again, it says for fans of Marduk, Mayhem, Whitein. Definitely the, the Marduk, Whitein side of it, for sure. That's uh, definitely got that second wave influence, but they've kind of 
you know, turned up that intensity a little bit like Marduk has and things like that. But uh, really solid album, man. If you're into that, you know, early Marduk sound, stuff like that, definitely check out Merrimack if you have not. In my opinion, one of the best uh, French black metal bands, you know, modern era. That one came out in 2017. Uh, I've got some notes here. Uh, they've got four other full lengths. They've been around since the mid 90s. So they were kind of there in that 94 era, you know, area, you know, so cannot talk today. And that 1994, you know, right at the height of the second wave took it, taken off all that kind of stuff. But definitely go check them out. They will be linked up as always in the description. I've got one more item here to show you and uh, we'll uh, let you get back to your business. All right, this next one is one of my favorite bands. Um, it was a 2019 release. I missed out on it last year and I hated myself, but I was lucky enough to find a box set available. I uh, found it on Season Mist on sale and I pulled the trigger immediately. And that is 1349 with their 2019 release, The Infernal Pathway. This is the box set edition, so it's got kind of a, you know, kind of a thick dealio going on here. Track listing, some really cool artwork there. But we'll kind of dig this open and kind of see what came in it. I mean, you should know what 1349 is all about these days. I mean, just very fast, aggressive black metal. And they've kind of changed over the years. Like they had some experimental albums and things, but this to me, it was just a harkening back to just all out brutality. Um, right off the bat, you get a patch, got the uh, logo in there. Really pretty kind of a, looks weird on the camera here, but it's a, a very good gold. I mean, it's very similar to this. It looks yeah, I don't know, they're close, but they, the camera's not doing either one of those justice. So yeah, you get a cool little patch. Pretty cool. That will go on the new vest, which I'll be showing very soon. Let's see what else we got in here. Next up, the actual album, Digipack. Love that artwork, man. I've always loved their logo, everything about them, man. Um, again, this is Infernal Pathway. It came out in 2019, and in my opinion, picked up where albums like um, Hellfire picked off, you know, before, you know, like the Chaos album, the Cauldron or whatever that a lot of people didn't really care for. Uh, this one has that crazy, you know, fold out Digipack, you know, the band there, fucking Frost, how cool does he always look, man? And yeah, pretty cool. I uh, got another cool little logo there behind the disc, but yeah, great album. Um, I know they did, I have the vinyl, um, that they released. Okay, so this, I'm a dumbass, holds out to a full inverted cross. Um, I got the vinyl for the single that came out last year, but for some reason, completely spaced on the album. And with the lighting and everything here, I don't know how well this is gonna come out, but it also came with a full-size flag. So let me get this open and kind of show you what that looks like. I believe it's just the album art. Oh, it's got the really nice steel ring, so that's cool. Yeah, so it's just kind of like the internal, this artwork here from the actual disc, it looks like. Go ahead and pretty good size. Infernal Pathway to the bottom with the cool writing. It's got that badass cover artwork. And of course, 1349 across the top. Definitely going to get hung up. It might actually replace this um, Cavalera Conspiracy flag right behind me. I might put this, put that there instead. All in all, pretty cool little box, man. I mean, you get a killer album, killer patch, the uh, flag. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, sorry for the slow content coming your way. Things are still kind of crazy here with, you know, the shutdowns and everything because of this virus that's going around. Um, but either way, I hope everybody's safe and healthy, and I will see you soon.